Good morning, everyone. I'll be stammering for first few seconds. Uh, I repeat myself, Dr. Prachi Rathod, I identify as a trans woman. I repeat for the second time, I identify myself as a trans woman. And you must be uh, looking at me and thinking that who is this lady with a beautiful sari? Yes, I am the Bharatiya Nari with a beautiful sari. And I want each and everyone to assume themselves as a Dr. Prachi for the rest of few minutes. Though we are connected verbally, I just want that heart to heart connection from each of you. Everyone has their own definitions of life. And I also think that you people have your future plans, goals, family, financial savings, everything. I just want to tell one thing. We transgenders, our life is designed by our destiny. Where it will start with our behavioral changes first. And it leads to harassment, bullying, and uh, lack of family support, emotional support, financial support which leads to a lot of mental hazards in our life. Second thing, yes, uh, you might have seen a lot of transgenders on roads. The only reason for being on roads, uh, doing sex work, dancing on a bar, is the thing which we lack is our livelihood. Where this is, this is the only gift we received from the society. This society has been created the stigma and discrimination towards this gender, transgender, that these people are only born to do these things. We never get a chance to express ourselves. We never got a chance to talk about our future plans, talk about our education. We never got a chance to express what we need in our life. And also, facing this from our childhood, a lot of discrimination will be there. We carry a lot of guts and that personal power to express ourselves in front of our families. But we fail to do that. We fail to impress them. Just because of the stigma and discrimination which has been created by this society, even parents are not accepting us the way we are. And that leads to either we have to be thrown out of our family, or we have to compromise our life. And third and most dangerous thing is either we have to commit suicide. Is that my fault to become a transgender? Is that my parents' fault or my community's fault? It is a fault from the society. It is a fault of the stigma which has been created by this society. Yes, after coming out of our houses, we will be only doing these three particular activities. Uh, sex work, begging, and yes, dancing in the bars. We have to create our own space in this society. We have to earn for our livelihood, where we won't even think of the education as well. And all this is because not having the gender equality, gender inclusion activity in this society. I remember, like, NALSA judgment has been passed uh, in 2017 that transgender have a right to exist in this world. I thank to the government, Indian government, yes, you have given us peace, but it is only on papers. Where can we see these inclusion activities in our normal life? Yes, we are on papers. We have, I mean, government has created a third gender column in each and every uh, aspects, each and every, uh, what we call that, uh, job application forms and everything. But the basic thing which we are missing is gender neutral washrooms. And gender non-discriminatory hospital services. I, I just want to give an example here, after coming out of the family, uh, I'm not uh, representing any religion here, yes. Even Lord Ram from Ramayana has been exiled for 14 years. For his return, people have celebrated Diwali, which means full of lights. And also, it is a meaning that 
those light will give a positive energy in your life. I want to share a personal experience here. Being a transgender, I have been exiled since uh, eight years. Do I expect a Diwali for me? What do you people think? That do, do I really deserve a Diwali? Or do my destiny deserve a festival of Diwali in my life with my family? Do I ever return to my family? No, my parents are very well educated. I'm, I belong to a, uh, I mean, upper social class family. Despite of all the struggles, despite of uh, being a medical officer, I'm not getting that acceptance from the family. So what should I expect from my family as well as society? Is that a fault of my family? No, it is not everyone's fault. It is a fault of this society. And to create this gender inclusion activity in the community, in the society, do we need a start button for this? If yes, who will be doing the start button for this? Is that Indian government doing this? Is that we transgender doing this? Or is that the society doing this? Yes, everyone has to push themselves to just push that start button to create a happiness, to give a proper space for people like me. If you have been doing this, I can promise you people that only, not only Dr. Prachi will be here among you, there will be a lot of transgenders who will be sharing their life experiences here. With this note, yes, uh, while talking here, uh, actually Dr. Krish sir has been uh, telling me like, uh, uh, there are nine transgenders who is like uh, going to pursue uh, the engineering and uh, becoming software developers very soon. Sir mentioned one thing, when I was on traffic uh, signal, I saw a lady, I mean a transgender who is begging there. She was well-mannered and civilized. I asked her, what are you, I mean, what are your qualifications? She said that she's graduated. Yes, sir, not only nine graduated students will get, if you talk in this way, if you just put a hand on their shoulders, I promise you there will be 900 more software development, uh, developers from our community as well. So with this note, I just want to tell one thing. We don't need any financial support. We don't need any kind of mercies in our life. We are capable of carrying struggle throughout our life. We just need uh, emotional support from you people. We are not seeking for any financial help. We just need a hand on our shoulders that ja vayan puchkar. We are ready to prove ourselves and I am very proud of being a transgender. Despite of all hurdles, I am very proud to be alone in my life because life has taught me everything. When no one is there in my life and I'm in struggle, I don't need anyone in my life in future as well. So just, just be a supportive system to everyone who are like a part of this LGBTQI community. And uh, here I just want to mention two names, my daughter Shanvi and the man of my life, Mr. Samir Ranjan Lenka, because of you people, I'm existing here. Because of you people, I became extroverted from introvert. Because of you people, I kept aside of my suicidal thoughts. Yes, because of you people, I'm thinking about my community as well. Love you both. Signing off, Dr. Prachi Ranjan Lenkha Rathor. Thank you. <laughs>